Hey everyone, welcome back to TWT. Uh, my name is Lynn and I just wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I know this is coming up and it hasn't happened yet, but it's coming up in a few days. Um, so I thought I would record this and um, wish you a happy Thanksgiving in advance. Um, I'm trying to think of like, <laughs> besides eating and watching TV and falling asleep and all that. Um, that's basically what you do on Thanksgiving. Um, you have a lot of food, people cook, people eat, um, people watch TV on the screen. Um, and then the time comes for dinner to be ready. There's a lot of food, a lot of desserts. And I remember like, um, it's about the turkey. I mean, I don't like turkey. I'm not really into turkeys, but I know like it's a tradition to eat turkey and stuffing and cranberry sauce and um rolls mashed potatoes green beans um candied yams yes with marshmallows those are like the traditional you know thanksgiving meals to eat and i love them you know like i remember um for dessert you would get like apple pie um what was it pecan pie that's like really popular it's very sweet um and because you're eating like such like heavy foods and dessert and all that and you know you stuff yourself until you can't eat anymore so like it seems like almost everyone not everyone but almost everyone falls asleep because they're stuffed and there's still a lot of food left over so every every pretty much everybody falls asleep right so you take a nap and then you wake up and then you get hungry again because you look around and there's still a lot of food left. So then you wake up only to eat again, <laughs> whatever's left. And then you're stuffed again. So then you have to sleep again. And then you watch a little bit of football. I remember like, yeah, you watch football, whatever game's on. And then you would get drowsy and then you would fall asleep again. So that's what I remember from, you know, Thanksgiving, like you just, it's a big day, it's a holiday. Um, there's a lot of cooking, a lot of, um, you know, um, sitting around on the couch, in the living room. Um, people are watching football. Uh, people are busy in the kitchen. There's a lot of food. People bring food. And then everybody's waiting, you know, for dinner because that's when, when, that's when everything's ready. So basically, um, by the time dinner is ready, that means that the turkey is ready. And like I said, I don't really eat turkey. Um, so I eat something else instead. Um, maybe ham. Um, something else besides turkey. And um, yeah, you just eat. And then you, you know, you, you say your thanks. You share what you're thankful for and people will seem to have to come up with something to be thankful for <laughs> i don't even know what i'm think thankful for like you know i don't have to think about it that hard you know i'm just i'm gonna share with you what i'm thankful for so i'm thankful for the fact that like you know i'm i survived <laughs> that's number one and number two um i'm more healthier now that's two and number three, I'm closer to God. That's 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 three things. And I'm protected. That's four. And five, um, I I do whatever I want. I do what makes me happy. And the other part is, well, I'm doing what makes me happy. I'm also doing what comes naturally to me. So I'm doing things that I'm naturally good at, that I want to do, that makes me happy. And I'm also able to help others in the process. So to me, it's like, yes, that's a win-win. You know, I win, they win, everybody wins. Because not only am I doing something that I enjoy, I'm also able to help others. You know what I mean? It's like, and it makes everyone happy. And that's how I see it. Like, that's what I'm thankful for. You know, the fact that everyone's happy. And if I don't want to do something, I just say no. If I don't want to eat something, I just don't eat it. Yeah, basically, I, I do what I want to do. And if I don't like something, I don't, I don't do it. 
It's that simple. Like, I only do what I like. And if it's something that I want to do, I don't do it. And <clears throat> one thing I noticed is that um, I don't like negative energy. So I avoid it. I prefer positive energy over negative because negative energy is just so draining and tiring and it's just, it's not peaceful at all. And it just, it's like unnecessary stress, you know, when you can just avoid it. <clears throat> and when you're able to avoid stress or stressful situations or like stressful people, basically anything or anyone that like basically makes you old, ages you, then basically you just save time from your life and you actually look younger because you don't you don't let people or situations or life stress you out. So that's one benefit, you know, like when you don't let stress affect you, then it doesn't affect you and it shows up in your looks. And it's not even really about how you look. It just happens to be a benefit that you don't really see until, you know, you come across other people and yeah, you're like, why do these people look older than me? And I'm older than them. And then you realize, oh, it's because, yes, they've allowed stress to get the best of them. And this is why they look older. And I don't, I don't let stress get in my way. I avoid it. And if it does sort of come my way, I deal with it. And then I get rid of it. I get, I get rid of the source. I avoid it. And this is why I look younger than my age. And this is why I look younger than a lot of people. Yep. So, yeah, that was like a little tid tidbit of, you know. But, yeah, um, happy Thanksgiving. Um, think about, yeah, what you're thankful for. I know you have something to be thankful for. Like, no matter how bad things get or how bad life seems and no matter how negative things are, there's always something to be thankful for. I mean, if you're alive, be thankful for that because it could be worse. You could be dead, but you're alive. I mean, you may hate your life. You may hate yourself. You may hate, you know, the situation you're in. But at the end of the day, you're still alive. You're still alive to hate yourself. I mean, it's like either you're alive to hate yourself or you're dead and you hate yourself. So which one would you rather have? Dead or alive? Exactly. That's my point. It's like you can be dead, but you're not. So just be thankful that you're alive. That's it. And just knowing that you're alive, there's still time to make changes. Because once you're dead, you're dead. That's it. It's too late. It's too late. Like, it's too late. There's nothing else you can do but start over if you're able to. And um, that's if you don't have anything else to do. Because you might have to do the same thing over and over and over and over before you can come back and do what you want to do. Yep. So, yeah, think about that. And um, happy Thanksgiving. And I will talk to you again soon.